Thank you so much for your presence on today. We're pleased that you've joined with us for this special announcement. Today is special because it would have been Delbert II, 27th birthday. So on this day, we want to formally introduce to you the establishment of the Delbert B. Madison II Foundation. The Delbert B. Madison II Foundation is committed to giving back to the community, to those who persevered through a life challenge. In this effort, the foundation will present annual scholarships at Carver High School to any graduating senior. With this plan, we will extend into the surrounding community in years to come. The Delbert B. Madison II Foundation is committed to investing in young people, and we believe that every act of kindness, even a small one, can make a difference. For our scholarship, we're asking that you go to the dbm2foundation.com where you can find all of the requirements for the scholarship. We're so pleased to be uh, in the Carver High School Auditorium on today. Uh, Delbert was a graduate of Carver High School and we are honored that the principal, Mr. Gary Hall, is here with us today. And we are going to ask him to come up and say a few words at this time. Say thank you uh, to the Madison family, to the whole, to the whole clan. It's starting from the, your, your father, gave me my first shot as a, um, a teacher and an administrator. And he, if he didn't take a chance on me, I wouldn't be standing before you today. And thank you again, to you guys, for sending Delbert to us because he was a joy to be around. His situation may have been what it was, never let it show. If he was hurting in pain, he was always smiling. He was an inspiration to our football team. I remember when Coach Carter, Coach Cab, Coach Gresham came to me and said, listen, we need to have him in our football game. We want him to lead us out on the field. So I said, okay, now how are we gonna make that happen? They said, oh, we got it, Mr. Hall. You just need to show up down there on the field. We got all this. Put him in the jersey, he led us on the field, and those young men were inspired by his being there on that sideline. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to, to future students to gain a scholarship. That's, that's what it's all about, giving back to the community. Let's give back to where we, where we came from. This is Carver High School, and we appreciate you guys. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce some of our team members who are gathered with us today. Uh, we have Ms. Cheryl Whetstone in our audience with us today. We have Ms. Kim Madison, who is with us today. And we have Mr. Samuel Yaus, who is with us as well. This is a part of our team. Uh, our entire team could not be here today, uh, but I will say that they are a dedicated group and they are committed to uh, the enhancement of the work of the foundation. And we just truly appreciate their sacrifice, their time and their efforts. So now for the big question, how can you help? You can help in multiple ways. Number one, you can certainly give. Our foundation is set up as a nonprofit organization, which means that uh, your gifts to the foundation are tax deductible. Number two, you can follow us on social media. You can find us at the DBM2 Foundation. And also please check out our website at dbm2foundation.com. Number three, you can help represent us in the community by wearing one of these armbands. Uh, we need ambassadors to spread the word of what we're trying to do in this city. Number four, you can support us at our annual gala that will be established in April of next year. More information will be shared in the coming months. Our motto for the foundation is, our change will make a difference. Okay, uh, for those who didn't know Delbert, Delbert uh, was diagnosed with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, which is a uh, disease that deteriorates your muscles. And uh, he was diagnosed in elementary school. And so what happened as he continued to grow, his muscles deteriorated, uh, but his mind was very strong. Uh, and I tell people, although he was in a wheelchair, he was sharp <laughs> with his mind and his mouth. <laughs> But uh, he inspired so many people just from his wheelchair. He had uh, what we call that drawing power. People wanted to be around him. They would just come to the house and watch TV with him, go to the movies with him, uh, spend time with him. 
And as Mr. Hall said, the team embraced him. The entire Carver Nation embraced him, but the team, the football team specifically. And so he just inspired so many people. So when he passed last year, we knew we wanted to do something to keep his legacy alive. And so that was the backdrop for us for the foundation. I hope that students who come in contact with the foundation, that they understand Delbert's journey because our selection process will involve people who had to persevere through a life challenge. So for us, that's what we want to see. We want them to be able to grasp uh, some influence from Delbert and help them become better individuals as well. And just to know that even though you have a challenge, that doesn't mean that you can't make it.